We covered uh, the 2016 elections together here at the Young Turks, and a lot of different hosts were involved, and Jimmy Dore was among them. Uh, Jimmy does a great show on the network, you should check it out. Um, uh, the Jimmy Dore Show, of course, you can find it on YouTube, you can part of, find it as part of the TYT network. There's another host on the TYT network, it's Khan Kalinske, uh, he hosts Secular Talk, another great show. Please check that out, we'll have links down below uh, to both those. In fact, uh, we also have links at this eye, if you move your mouse to the eye in the corner uh, of your video, if you're watching on YouTube, that also has the links. If you're watching on Facebook, the links will be in the comment section. Anyway, Kyle sends me an email uh, just a couple of days ago saying, Hey, Jake, did you see this old clip from October of 2015? I said, no, Kyle, I hadn't. He's like, you're gonna wanna see what you and Jimmy bet on. And I was like, ooh, I think I do wanna see that. So Jimmy was convinced that Trump couldn't win the election. Now, to be fair to Jimmy, he's a great guy, love the guy, okay? Uh, in October of 2015, Jimmy was not alone. Nobody thought that Trump could win the election. The primary voting has had not even begun yet. They began voting in January. So all that has happened in October of 2015 is some of the Republican debates. So we had just covered one together because we do all those debates live here on the Young Turks. And we were doing analysis when this happened. Uh, you guys have talked me into increasing the Trump's chances. <laughs> of okay. uh, no, you keep underestimating him. I'll give you 10 to 1 on Trump right now. Oh my I will God. take it. That, Finally, yeah. okay. he's been saying <laughs> yeah. this all show long for three hours. I'll give you hundred, hundred dollars. I win thousand dollars to you. Really, you're gonna give me a thousand dollars? Yes. Nomination or general election? He wins. Uh, general election. What are general we talking election. about? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna be a man of my word, and I'm gonna make that bet. What can I do? I'm a man of my word. <laughs> Um, so, now I explained why I thought that was, now the other guys were saying no, he's got no chance. And the more they said it, the more I thought he had a chance. Now, as you'll see in this explanation, not, not all the details about the policies uh, came to fruition, but the general idea uh, was right, that, they, that people were underestimating Trump's chance of winning, because politics is actually simpler than people realize. Anyway, here we are, back into October 2015, here was the conversation. That's it, I'm moving him up to 12.5% chance of winning, the whole thing. I had him at zero for the nomination, I had him at 1% for the nomination, I had him at 5% for the nomination. Tonight I'm moving him up to 12.5%, not for the nomination, but for the general election. Okay, this Republicans love alpha males, the guy is keep it simple stupid, okay? He keeps it simple, so that kind of braggadocio, clear bully that you hate, John, lack of intellect, lack of any substance, they love. You're underestimating Donald Trump's ability to change all of his positions. Mm -hmm. He That's has true. no principle, he has no shame. Donald Trump is super right wing on a lot of things now. And then when it comes to general election, he'd be like, what do you mean? Yeah. Of course, uh, for Latinos, again. you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna increase food stamps. I'm gonna, increase, I'm gonna give Latinos free education. Who cares? He doesn't I just care. Want to win. He doesn't care. He doesn't no. care, right? right. Like, hey, listen, I'm talking about bad guy uh, immigrants. I'm keeping them out so I can give the good guy immigrants here, and Latinos in the country, everything they want. Uh, chicken in every pot. I'm horrified. He right has now. no shame. You're right. You're right. And by the way, a third of his positions are far more progressive than the Republican positions. Yes. So he maybe. can come out and say, hey, wait, I'm the guy who wants to cut, who wants to increase taxes on hedge funds. What? Well, and Hillary Clinton said during the debates that she represents Wall Street. Now, he didn't do all that, but he did a lot of it, <laughs> okay? So what were my two principal thesis? Keep it simple, stupid, Republicans are not that bright, they'll like the alpha male uh, that's keeping it simple. And Trump has no shame or no principles and that'll help him win. I'm not saying told you, except for the graphic next to me that says told you. Uh, even down to the him saying, "Oh yeah, I'll take away the hedge fund tax breaks." Just today, it is confirmed that even though he did say that in the campaign, he will not be taking away the tax breaks for hedge fund guys. Why? Because he has no shame. He knew that he just needed to win. He didn't actually need to deliver on any of those promises. So I'm going to ask for your help here on how much I should make Jimmy pay. <laughs> okay, but before I do, because I'm the most reasonable man in America. I want to show you the very end of that clip, and we'll have the link to the whole clip down below as well. Um, 
Look at what, so we go through a 10 minute explanation and then Jimmy at the end panics a little bit and says this. Like now you're getting a little scared, right? Yeah, I'm getting a little scared. <laughs> five, well, after five to one. They, they, they called him yeah, five to one. So he joked about five to one. So uh, let's let's uh, go to the public here. Let's go to you, uh, you guys and you help me decide. <laughs> that picture of Jimmy's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> tytnetwork.com slash the bet. How much should Jank make Jimmy pay? A thousand dollars, because that was the bet, a hundred dollars for a 10 to one bet. That's the one we shook on. Five hundred dollars, because at the end, Jimmy said five to one. <laughs> okay. Or C, come on, that was all in good fun. Let him go. Let him go. Don't make him pay you. Now, I'm, I think I'm going to do whatever you guys say. Okay. So this poll, actually matters. <laughs> of all the polls we've ever done, this probably will have the most effect and Jimmy will probably vote a thousand times. So outvote him, okay. <laughs> I know which one I'm gonna vote for. Look, um, we'll, we'll see if you guys are, uh, you know, which way you come out on it. Uh, I'll t I will tell you this, uh, if Trump had lost, would I have given Jimmy the hundred dollars? Absolutely, right? Uh, so. Your call, your call, and I'm not looking for a pound of flesh. Uh, overall, nothing but fun. Uh, and Jimmy's great. Check out his show. You're going to have nothing but fun. Uh, he was raging during the elections. He's still raging today because he's right about that. You just watched the video by the Young Turks, home of the revolution. If you'd like to get a lot more than that, get the full show by becoming a member. TYTnetwork.com slash join.